You're a man who believes that all Zionists are enemies of peace. Well, that was a comment uh, that I made. Uh, a video was shown of me making that comment before I was an MP five years ago. I regret making that comment because it's an oversimplification because actually it fails to distinguish between those Israeli citizens who are campaigning for peace who are campaigning for peace, and people like Benjamin Netanyahu and his government, who are clear barrier to peace and human rights. But you lied. That video was captured. It was, it was revealed a month ago. And when you were asked about it on the BBC by my colleague, Andrew Neil, you said, not only did I not say that, you said that repeatedly, you said, I don't believe that. Why on earth should we believe anything you have to say when you outright lie? Well, it's a serious point you made, uh, Emma, and I certainly uh, didn't lie. You told a Labour Party meeting, did you not, in 2016, that Zionism is the enemy of peace? Well, that was an allegation made by the Daily Express. I asked them at which meeting I was meant to say that. The, I think it was reported in the Daily Mail. The but Daily Mail. But they, did they you couldn't say that? respond to me. I didn't say that, and they couldn't tell me when they believed I had said that. It's not my so view. Didn't lie. Let me explain. You put forward a serious point. Let me give uh, the full answer to this. I was first asked by a newspaper in 2016 whether I'd made such a declaration. I couldn't remember making such a declaration. It was I, an I asked them. I asked them when I was meant to have said it and where. They couldn't tell me. Fast forward two years later to 2018, and at your colleague Andrew Neil uh, asked me if I made that comment in a meeting in 2016. I said it's not my view. I said I'd been asked where I made this comment, and then a video a year after that came to light, not of 2016, where I did some speeches after I'd been to Palestine and Israel, but actually from 2014, five years ago, before I was even a member of Parliament. The enemy of the Palestinian people are Zionists. Zion Zionism is the enemy of the peace. I do not have the time to read the entire thing. It was I a 30-second video. I think, I think you have read the entire clip. No, I've not. That entire more, clip. more of it's here. It carries on. You tell people to go and look up on the internet to find MPs, Labour MPs, who are Labour Friends of Israel members, and you implore them to leave that. You keep going. That speech, it I, turns out... It's or, a speech. Why did you lie? I, I've just explained I didn't lie. You I, didn't say... It's important, because you may well be correcting the record here, mm. which is important. You didn't say that. No, and it's not my view. You just I, conveniently I'm, I'm sure, forgot. Emma, I'm sure, Emma, that you can't remember every answer you've given to a question half a decade ago. I could remember standing in front of a group of people in this current and making job. an impassioned speech. And I, could, I'll tell you something else. I could remember it if it was my view. So are you, not, are you not, sorry that you got caught, or are you sorry that that view was aired? I don't use that. What I was seeking to do, uh, as the transcript you've got shows, is distinguish uh, between the Jewish people and other political actors. Lumping all Zionists together is clumsy and wrong. You said what you said. You were asked about it, and you lied. And you're a man who just took the... If I can finish this point, you just took the Sun newspaper to court and won. You are a man who likes facts, you have a very senior position as Shadow Justice Secretary, which makes you a man of record. People would find it extremely difficult when they look this video up online, as they probably will after our interview, to think that you couldn't even remember making that speech the people, and saying it. The, the people, you lied. So why should we believe a single that's okay. word that if you, comes out If you let me answer mouth? if that's OK. Um, the people who put it to me that I made this comment couldn't say what year I was meant to have made it, couldn't say where I was meant to have made it, couldn't say what context I was meant to have made it. So does that make they, it okay for you no, to no, forget it conveniently? They, they were saying I'd made it in 2016. I couldn't remember it doesn't using matter that what term. Year. I couldn't remember using that turn of phrase. You are half, so passionate in this video. Half a decade ago. You smeared an entire group of people around the world, so I ask you again. Is it right for you to smear those people who support Nigel Farage because you say he's spreading lies when you've done exactly the same and you lied about not saying it? Nigel Farage uh, has made uh, a career as a kind of snake oil salesman in politics, posing as being anti-establishment, while making out that the reason for austerity is actually to do with migration, whether it be from people from other EU countries or elsewhere. That, that, that is may completely or may not be the unfair. case. He's not here to answer I, my question. I, like the Labour Party, want to see an end to the human rights abuses visited on the Palestinian people by Netanyahu's government. I, like the Labour Party, want to see a two-state outcome. How anything you say? This isn't an interview about the foreign policy of Israel. It's an interview about you lying. I've explained already that I uh, forgot a phrase that I, it turns out I used half a decade ago before I was an MP. I think most of your viewers 
could identify with, did you use a phrase in an unspecified context half a decade ago before you were in your current job? I didn't tell a falsehood. Joan Ryan, though, Labour MP, she's the chair of Friends of Israel, uh, she wrote to you asking you to clarify the comments, but when you replied to her, you didn't deny that you had made them. Well, I didn't make those uh, comments. I asked when I was meant to have made those comments, no one could tell me, and it's not my view. So if it's not my view, I wouldn't have made those comments. OK, so deny why didn't it. you just say I didn't, I didn't say it? Because I've got your reply here. You didn't deny that you'd said it. Well, I would not have said that because it's not my view. Okay. So you didn't well, you... say it? Well, you didn't say it. You've said that. I... And the enemy, the enemy of the Palestinian people is not the Jewish people. The enemy of the Palestinian people are Zionists. And Zionism is the enemy of peace and the enemy of the Palestinian people. And we need to be loud, we need to be proud in support of a free Palestine. I make no apologies. I'm proud to say not only wouldn't I be a member of Labour Friends of Israel, I've never been uh, a, a member of Labour Friends of Israel. And I'm all for everyone's opinions being out there and everyone having their opinion treated with respect. But look up on the internet, because it's there to see on the Labour Friends of Israel website which MPs are members of Labour Friends of Israel, which Labour MPs are officers of Labour Friends of Israel, and ask them in support of the Palestinian people, in protest of what's happening in Gaza now, to resign from Labour Friends of Israel to show support for all humanity. She called for a general strike. We haven't had a general strike in this country since 1926. That's true. You gave it a standing ovation last night. I don't think a single person gave a speech a standing ovation. I, I well, you stood up and you applauded. We should organise with our brothers and sisters in the trade union to bring an end to this government with a general strike. <laughs> I don't think a single person gave a speech a standing ovation. I, I well, you stood up and you applauded. General strike.